now at the Global Peace Foundation, GPF, in collaboration with Justice Development and Peace Caritas, JDPC, Kaduna Archdiocese, has conducted a one-day roundtable discussion, a meeting with the stakeholders in the state to look for a lasting solution to some of the lingering issues of segregation. Division among people living in a Bakpa local government community in the state. Country coordinator Reverend Joseph Hayap says the meeting is aimed at fostering unity and dispelling fears among Christians and Muslims, as well as sustain peace in Agbakpa community and the state in particular. Hayap stated that the major causes of division and disunity in Nigeria is hunger, poverty, illiteracy and ignorance, stressing that they need to be addressed. When people live and allow themselves to be instigated by others, division will come. When people live and also uh, have been exploited on political reasons, division will come. But you know the famous or the most serious problem of Nigeria is hunger is helping to expand the division. Poverty is helping to expand the division, and illiteracy is also helping to expand the division because when people are ignorant, ignorant of faith, ignorant of how life is supposed to be, someone will just manipulate their ignorance and tell them what is not true about the other person, and they start looking at the other person as an enemy. The coordinator of Justice Development and Peace Caritas, JDPC, Reverend Father Joshua Achir, advocated stronger relationship between Christians and Muslims in order to live harmoniously. Peace is key to so many developments. In fact, without peace, there cannot be development anywhere. And so looking at the Bakwa local community, you discover that in time past, they have lived as brothers and sisters. Things have gone so well that uh, the question of religion or tribe or race, you know, did not even arise. They saw themselves more as a family, as a community, and, uh, but with time, all of these things changed. Northern coordinator of Global Peace Foundation, Hali Rumalaya, says Nigeria is experiencing trying times and residents have to be their brothers' keepers to maintain and promote peace, irrespective of their cultural background and religion. The insurgents and the bandits kill people uh, without putting into consideration their identities. They kill the Muslims, they kill the Christians, they abduct the Christians, they equally abduct the Muslims. Therefore, we have to be more united with a view to show love to ourselves because the bandits, the insurgents, or whatever name you can call them, they live within us. The historic Abakpak local community used to be relatively peaceful, but reverse has been the case in recent time. This informed the need for the meeting. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.